Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what are collision free protocols, what is Bluetooth, Zigbee, what is bridge, and various types of bridges. And also, I will explain operations of simple two port bridge. I will explain all these topics in detail. Guys, I will provide all these topics and the timings in description. So, before starting this video, please check in description. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what are collision free protocols. Yes, for example, there are multiple computers which are connected to single cable. We call this single cable as shared medium. So, all computers are connected to single cable for communication. In shared medium, whenever multiple computers send data at the same time, collision will occur. For example, this computer want to send data to this computer and similarly this computer also want to send data to this computer for example exactly at 10 o'clock both computers will send data to this computer whenever two computers send data at the same time collision will occur so both computers data will interfere each other so collision will occur collision is nothing but interference whenever two computers send data at the same time collision will occur and whenever collision occurs data will be lost so, this computer will not receive data of these two computers. So, in shared medium, whenever multiple computers send data at the same time, collision will occur. So, if multiple computers want to send data without any collision, then they need to use collision free protocols. So, collision free protocols are network communication methods that prevent data collisions when multiple devices try to send data at the same time. This protocol ensures smooth data transmission without loss or corruption. So, by using these protocols, multiple computers can communicate each other in shared network. Yes, collision free protocols are classified into three types. And the first one is bitmap protocol. Yes, in shared network, whenever multiple computers send data at the same time, collision will occur. So, in order to overcome this problem, so bitmap protocol will give particular time slot to each and every device. So, only in that particular time slot, device can communicate. For example, this computer is given time slot that is 10 o'clock. And similarly, this computer is given time slot that is 10 5 seconds. And similarly for this computer 10 10 seconds similarly for this computer 10 15 seconds so only in this particular time slot device can send data as each and every computer has different time slots all computers will send data at different times so collision will not occur yes for example there are four devices in network so device one is in first position so first time slot is given to device one and similarly second time slot is given to device two and third time slot to device three and fourth time slot to device four so, channel is nothing but single cable. Through single cable, each device can send data at particular time slots. As for example, device 1 and device 4, both computers want to send data in the time slot. If device 1 and device 4 want to send data in the time slots, before sending data, at first device 1 and device 4, both computers need to send one control message. That is nothing but both computers will send bit 1. So, this computer will send bit 1 and this computer will send bit 1 in order to reserve this channel. As two computers want to send data, both will reserve the time slots. And device 2 and device 3, both devices don't want to send data in the time slot, so they will not reserve the time slot. As both computers sent a control message, now they can send data. This is all about bitmap protocol. So, in bitmap protocol, each and every device in network gets a fixed time slot based on their positions. Before sending data, a control message, that is nothing but bit 1 is sent in order to reserve channel. After reserving channel, each and every device will send data one by one in their particular time slots. Yes, normally we will use bitmap protocol in wide to local area networks if devices want to send data one by one in order. And next protocol is binary countdown protocol. Yes, name itself says binary countdown. Here, each and every device is given one unique binary number. We also call this unique binary number as priority number. I will give one example. Yes, for example, there are three computers in network. All these computers want to send data at the same time. Binary countdown protocol will give unique binary numbers to each and every device. Binary countdown protocol will allow only one single computer with the highest binary number to send data. As for example, for this computer, binary number is 101, that is 5. And similarly, for this computer, binary number is 110, that is 6. And similarly, for this computer, binary number is 011, which is 3. These three computers want to send data at the same time. System B has highest priority number. So, only system B will send data at first. So, as only one device will send data at particular time, collision will not occur. 
So in binary count on protocol, each and every device is given unique binary number. We call it as priority number. If all devices want to send data at the same time, then only device with the highest priority wins and the device will send data. After device with the highest priority send data, again the same process will repeat for remaining devices. This is all about binary count on protocol. And third one is token passing protocol. In shared communication channel, first device is given one token. As this computer got token, at first this computer will send data. After this computer sending data, token is passed to device 2. Again device 2 will send data. After device 2 sending data, token is passed to device 3 and to device 4 and so on. So token is passed to each and every device in circular manner. As only one computer with token can send data, collision will not occur. And last one is polling protocol. Guys in polling protocol, there is one central system. This system will call to each and every device line by line in order to send data. At first this computer will call to system 1 in order to send data. After system 1, this computer will call to system 2 and then system 3, system 4 and so on. These are four collision free protocols. Next I will explain what is Bluetooth. Guys as we know, Bluetooth is wireless communication technology. By using Bluetooth, we can transfer files from one device to other device. So Bluetooth is a wireless communication technology used for shorter range data exchange between devices. Guys, if one device transfer data to other device by using Bluetooth, data is transferred in the form of radio waves with frequency range that is 2.4 GHz. Guys, Bluetooth will follow standard that is IEEE Gate 02.15.1 standard. Where IEEE stands for Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Guys, this is one of the institute that will create rules. Rules are nothing but standards as Bluetooth will follow this rule. That is why wireless communication will be happened between devices. These are features of Bluetooth. And the first one is shorter range communication. Guys, by using Bluetooth, devices can communicate to each other. That is up to 10 meters away. As Bluetooth will consume less power consumption, so Bluetooth is suitable for mobile devices. And by using Bluetooth, we can connect to multiple devices at the same time. Guys, Bluetooth frequency range is not fixed. Bluetooth will change frequency many times in order to avoid interference. These are applications of Bluetooth and the first one is wireless accessories. Guys, by using Bluetooth, we can connect to headphones, we can connect to wireless speakers and also we can connect to wireless keyboard etc. And by using Bluetooth, we can transfer files from one device to other device. Guys, we also use Bluetooth in smart home devices. For example, by using Bluetooth, we can control lights, we can also control locks etc. Guys, we also use Bluetooth in healthcare devices. For example, Bluetooth is used in wireless heart rate monitor. Next, I will explain what is Zigbee. Guys, same like Bluetooth. Zigbee is also a wireless communication technology. Zigbee is a low power wireless communication technology designed for IoTs and also for automation systems. We will use Zigbee technology in IoT. For example, if you consider smart lights, smart watches, smart doors, all these devices will work based on Zigbee technology. And automation systems are nothing but, for example, if you consider smart lights, when we enter, automatically lights will turn on. And whenever we leave our house, automatically lights will turn off. Because smart lights contain sensors and whereas sensors will work based on Zigbee technology. So we will use Zigbee technology in IoTs and as well as automation systems. And whereas Zigbee will follow standard that is IEEE 802.15.4. That standards are nothing but rules. Based on the standards, the Zigbee technology will work. Whereas if you consider Bluetooth, Bluetooth is used only for shorter range communication. That is only 10 meters away. And whereas if you consider Zigbee, Zigbee is used in longer range communications. That is up to 100 meters away. Zigbee device will work many years because they will consume less power. And we will use Zigbee technology in automation and as well as sensor based systems. These are applications of Zigbee. And the first one is smart homes. As if you consider smart bulbs and security alarms, these devices contain sensors. And the sensors will work based on Zigbee technology. And also we will use Zigbee in industrial automation in order to make machines work automatically. And we will also use Zigbee in healthcare monitoring where medical devices contain sensors and that sensors will work based on Zigbee technology. Guys, we will also use Zigbee technology in agriculture monitoring in order to measure temperature, soil moisture, etc. All these are applications of Zigbee. Next, I will explain what is bridge and various types of bridges. Guys, bridge is a device. By using bridge, we can connect to multiple local area networks. For example, there is college. 
कॉलेज कंटेन्स टू बिल्डिंग साइड बाय साइड सो दिस बिल्डिंग वन इज कंसिडर एज वन लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क एंड बिल्डिंग टू इज कंसिडर एज वन लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क आई विल कनेक्ट दिस टू बिल्डिंग्स बाय यूजिंग ब्रिज डिवाइस गाइस इफ वी कनेक्ट दिस टू बिल्डिंग्स डायरेक्टली विदाउट ब्रिज देन दिस टू बिल्डिंग्स इज कंसिडर एज ओनली सिंगल नेटवर्क एज बोथ बिल्डिंग्स आर कनेक्टेड डायरेक्टली मेनी डिवाइसेस विल कम्युनिकेट ईच अदर इन नेटवर्क सो ट्रैफिक विल बी वेरी हाई इफ ट्रैफिक इज हाई देन नेटवर्क परफॉर्मेंस डिक्रीजेस दैट इज व्हाई वी नीड ब्रिज ब्रिज विल डिवाइड आवर नेटवर्क इनटू टू सेगमेंट्स ब्रिज विल हैंडल ट्रैफिक एंड परफॉर्मेंस इंक्रीजेस गाइस ब्रिजेस आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू थ्री टाइप्स एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज ट्रांसपेरेंट ब्रिज वी आल्सो कॉल दिस ट्रांसपेरेंट ब्रिज एज लर्निंग ब्रिज कंप्यूटर्स डोंट नो दैट ब्रिज इज कनेक्टेड टू दिस नेटवर्क दैट इज व्हाई वी कॉल दिस ब्रिज एज ट्रांसपेरेंट ब्रिज गाइस फॉर एग्जांपल देयर आर थ्री लैंस वेयर लैंस स्टैंड्स फॉर लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क आर थ्री लैंस आर कनेक्टेड बाय यूजिंग ट्रांसपेरेंट ब्रिज दिस ट्रांसपेरेंट ब्रिज विल मेंटेन MAC addresses of each and every device. Guess transparent bridge will store each and every device MAC address in table. Guess for example, this computer want to send data to this computer. So whenever this computer send data, transparent bridge will identify this device by using MAC address. As all MAC addresses are present in this table, transparent bridge will send data to this computer based on MAC address. For example, this computer want to send data to this computer. But this computer MAC address is not present in this table. So whenever MAC address is not available in this table, then this transparent bridge will send data to all segments connected to network. So data is transferred to each and every segment. Thus, we also call transparent bridge as learning bridge because this bridge will learn MAC address. Learning MAC address is nothing but this bridge will store MAC address of each and every device connected to this network in table. So learning is nothing but storing MAC addresses in table. and based on this mac address bridge will identify devices and then it will send data guess we'll use transparent bridge only in ethernet networks where all devices are connected by using ethernet cables and second one is spanning tree bridge as for example there are two lands this computer want to send data to this computer this local area networks are connected by using two bridges so whenever this computer send data this both bridges will take data this bridge one will send data to bridge two and similarly Bridge two will send data to bridge one, and data keeps on circulating between these two bridges. As data keeps on circulating, data will not reach to receiver, and data will keeps on repeating, which is slow down or crash the network. So, in order to overcome this problem, spanning tree bridge will use spanning tree protocol. Where spanning tree protocol will choose only one single route in order to transfer data. As for example, there are two routes. Spanning tree protocol will identify that this route is very short. So, spanning tree protocol will choose only this route, and then it will block all remaining routes. So, data can be transferred only by using single route. As data can be transferred by using only single bridge, data will be reached to receiver successfully. So, spanning tree bridge prevents loop in a network when multiple bridges are used. It uses spanning tree protocol to create loop-free network. It finds the best path for data transfer. So, spanning tree protocol blocks unnecessary paths, and then it will choose only one best path in order to send data as spanning tree protocol will choose only one short and best path data will be transferred to receiver very fast and last one is source routing bridge name itself says source routing so bridge will not find best route source computer will find best path in order to send data here bridge will not take decisions just a bridge will follow route given by the sender and then bridge will send data so in source routing bridge bridge will not maintain mac addresses of devices This is all about source routing bridge. Next, I will explain operations of simple two-port bridge. Guys, port is nothing but connection point. Guys, for example, there are two local area networks, and these two lines are connected to bridge by using two ports. Ports are nothing but connection point. Bridge contains two pins, and by using these pins, two local area networks are connected. So we call this connection point as port one, and similarly, this connection point as port two, as this bridge contains two ports. we call this bridge as two port bridge as for example in lan 1 computer d want to send data to computer e so whenever computer d want to send data to computer e at first data is transferred to bridge and bridge will identify that both computers belongs to same lan as both computers are in same lan this device can communicate directly without bridge so whenever device d send data bridge will block the data if device want to communicate on same lan bridge will block the data For example, device A is in LAN one, and device X is in LAN two. 
device A want to send data to device X as both belongs to different lands. Now bridge will allow communication. So bridge will take data from device A and then bridge will send data to device X. This is all about two port bridge. These are operations of two port bridge. And the first one is learning MAC address. I already said before, bridge will show MAC address of each and every device. If receiver MAC address is within LAN, bridge will not send data and bridge will block the data. This is known as filtering traffic. And if receiver MAC address belongs to different segment, then bridge will forward the data. This is known as forwarding data. And last one is avoiding loops. Yes, if there are multiple bridges used in networks, then that bridges will follow spanning tree protocol. Whereas in spanning tree protocol, device will choose only one best route and it will block all remaining routes. As device will choose only one best route, data will be transferred to receiver very fast. There will not be any loop. These are operations of two port bridge.